FinTech Hub is an acceleration program dedicated to supporting FinTech startups uh, to scale by addressing their needs for skills, partnerships, um, access to capital and navigating regulatory environment. It's an initiative of UNCDF in partnership with the Ministry of ICT and Innovation, Kigali Innovation City, the Ministry of Trade and Industry, and it is implemented by Rwanda ICT Chamber. Our motivation to join the FinTech Hub was seeing this opportunity um, to do um, a number of different things. One was directly support startups so that they're able to grow their customer base, um, uh, raise money and be able to start to scale. Um, two was to help mobilize partners so that we can start to create those interconnections and collaborations um, so that the, the startups are able to thrive. Uh, Uplus is a financial app that enables uh, collective saving and investments. We make it easier for groups uh, to pull money together for any particular reasons or to even loan that money to each other so they can invest in a particular activity uh, or, you know, or an asset. Right, so that's what Uplus focuses on. We make it easier and seamless for groups to be able to grow their financial uh, profile. First, we looked at the banking sector. We saw how there was a big process in terms of one completing the payments, and then we also saw uh, the other sectors in education. We saw how parents were taking long and having lots of pains in completing the payment for their, for their children. Long queues and also frequent questions, delays in uh, payments, uh, such as uh, uh, asking for an ID, when it is your own account. So we managed to see these gaps. And then we said, you know what? We can actually bring up a solution that can uh, fasten the payments and even it being more secure. Food Bundles is a digital platform which is optimizing distribution of fresh food for consumers living in the city and also creating a sustainable market for smallholder farmers in the rural area, all using the digital platforms. So um, our value is that we help the people in the agricultural value chain to minimize the uh, number of middlemen from uh, an average of five people to so less uh, than one only middleman so that the consumer can have a sustainable fresh food supply and also at affordable price. The hub uh, provides or offers tailor-made technical assistance to these companies to address their needs that are mostly around product development, licensing and customer acquisition. Uh, in addition to that, FinTech Hub provides a milestone-based grant to every startup towards the end of the cohort. And so startups use those, uh, that grant to further develop their product uh, and ameliorate their strategies uh, and models to become more investment ready uh, so as to raise or attract more investors for their businesses. I joined this cohort of FinTech uh, Hub, uh, whereby we benefited in, in um, I would say, in the free aspect. Number one, uh, there was a mentorship. We were connected with a mentor. Number two was uh, the financial support, which allowed us to create the, uh, the food bundle mobile application. We've integrated Ocean, allowing people to have alternative financing, which is by now pay later integrated. Then the last and all risk is the partnership aspect of it. Uh, we are through the hub, we are able to have a partnership from the telecom, from the regulators, and even also the legal support, which is very crucial. So the free aspect of the hub has contributed significantly to the progress we are making right now. The FinTech hub enabled us to put our things in order. As a startup, you know, most startups uh, fail on that part of managing finances. But through the FinTech app, we got a financial support to be able to meet some of these uh, needs. The second part is the regulatory advocacy. They were able to advocate and give us uh, advice on how to go about things when it comes to regulatory 
requirements. We were supporting daily checkups on our business development, our product development, and what we needed. And once we had talked about all the needs that we need for our company, that's when uh, the technical support was issued, which helped us solve most of our, our bottlenecks, uh, including getting a license for the USSD uh, functionality. Uh, and that once we got that, that opened our product to a wider market. Our Ministry of ICT Innovation, uh, among us, the other things that uh, we are interested with, there is even the advancement of uh, the fintech uh, ecosystem in Rwanda. So uh, the rationale of uh, uh, supporting fintech uh, startup comes with uh, the target that our country has set, which is to actually uh, achieve 100% adult uh, financial inclusion by 2024. And for now, as we speak, we are at 93. FinTech Hub was part of a different initiative that we embarked on to ensure that we are, at, we are I mean, advancing towards um, our target. But specifically, maybe being specific to what we've done within uh, the FinTech Hub, if you look into the startups that we've been supporting, at least they have, uh, I mean, increased more even than 10 times in terms of um, uh, the client, the customers they are serving. And this was based to the support that we were able to give them in terms of technical, but also uh, financial support. But the second success is now even the collaboration between the startup, um, the policy makers, but also the regulators. We used to have that, uh, I would call that unconnected ecosystem where a startup would complain that the regulatory regime is not to their favor, is not helping them to grow. But now we have this engagement where we meet, we discuss if the regulatory sandbox, let's say, is not helping them. We propose the change and amendment which the regulatory authorities are doing. So it's like that kind of collaboration and also regulatory by doing uh, which we think is is, is pushing um, and accelerating our fintech ecosystem.